Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope you're having a lovely day. A lot of the people that watch this channel are not a fan of a lot of cloud merchandise because what a lot of cloud merchandise does is if it gets sold to another company, they may start charging more for certain features. They can take away access to certain features. They can make you pay more money later. You don't really own what it is you bought and paid for. And above all, you really have no idea who the hell is peeking in on your personal data. This is why projects like Home Assistant are so near and dear to my heart. Home Assistant is an open source project that is what cloud was supposed to be. If you want to turn on a light in your home, if you want to check the status of something going on with your car, if you want to turn on the lights, air conditioning, anything like that, you can do that, but you are self-hosting and self-managing your own instance. You install it on a computer of your choice. You use an internet connection of your choice. You use devices of your choice. And above all, at the end of the day, everything is yours. It's your data. You own the system. You can modify it as you please. It is freedom respecting in every sense of the word. And this is something that many manufacturers are not particularly happy with because if you're able to actually own access to things in your smart home, you may not pay them a cloud subscription fee anymore and they may not have access to your data. That's why companies like Mazda got very afraid when these came out. The funny thing is Mazda came up with a claim that an open source developer has actually committing some sort of trademark or copyright infringement by utilizing their API. In reality, what they did is they simply reverse engineered it, which is completely fair game. They reverse engineered it so rather than using Mazda's garbage application, you could use theirs. You could see tire pressure, you could see temperature, you could do all sorts of cool stuff with your car. You bought the car, that's your internet connection, it's your computer, it's your house. Why do you have to give Mazda a monthly fee to be able to do this stuff? I don't know, but they think you should continuously pay them. So they decided to tell this developer, take down your software or we're going to go after you. And because this developer was not charging money for his software, he didn't really have financial resources to deal with a legal battle with Mazda, he just took it down. And unfortunately, this seems to be happening again now with higher air conditioners. So this is an integration for higher air conditioners with Home Assistant. Again, wouldn't it be nice if when it was 117 degrees in Texas, you could just hit a button on your phone and tell your Home Assistant system with nobody else in between, no middlemen, no spying, no nonsense, turn on my air conditioner 20 minutes before I get home. That would be cool, particularly if you could do that without paying high air. Again, you paid the months for the air conditioner, you should be done. Uh, unfortunately, that's not the case. They are going to be taking the project down. Dear user, we are writing to inform you that we have discovered two Home Assistant integration plugins developed by you that are in violation of our terms of service, specifically the plugins using our services in an unauthorized manner, which is causing significant economic harm to our company. At least they're being honest here. Allowing you to do what you want with what you own is causing them significant financial harm. They're the only one that should be able to monetize your ability to control what you bought and fucking paid for. We take the protection of our intellectual property very seriously and demand that you immediately cease and desist all illegal activity related to the development and distribution of these plugins. We also request that you remove the plugins from all stores and code hosting platforms where they are currently available. Please be advised that we will take all necessary legal action to protect our interests if you fail to comply with this notice. And I hope every single person watching this video doesn't dare download this GitHub repository because that would be breaking the law and make higher really angry. I don't want any of you ever using this repository with a higher air conditioner. Please be advised that we'll take all necessary legal action to protect our interests if you fail to comply with this notice. We reserve the right to pursue all available remedies, including but not limited to monetary damages, injective relief, and attorney's fees. We strongly urge you to take immediate action to rectify the situation and avoid any further legal action. If you have any questions or concerns, please do not hesitate to contact us. And of course, the, he is complying because, again, he's an open source developer. 99% of the people that are using this software have never paid for it and have not donated any money, so most likely he has a, a budget for this that is less than my budget for fish food, which is why he is deciding not to go up against an, an air conditioning conglomerate. And I understand why. Um, I understand why. I don't know about you. I will never purchase a higher air conditioner or higher product as long as I live. If they were the last air conditioner on earth, I'll just deal with 117 degree summer in Texas. Let me know what you think. And remember, don't share this repository. That would be morally and ethically wrong. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye now. And check out Home Assistant. Again, even if you're one of those people that hates cloud at every level, again, you choose the computers that it runs on. You choose the servers it runs on. You self-manage and self-host your own instance. No subscription bullshit. Completely open source. The way cloud was supposed to be. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye now.